Okay. So you can see I got the, uh, the tuning rods on and the clamps on the hoop. So uh, the next step is going to be uh, put these bass drum, uh, temporary bass drum spurs on. Doesn't look too bad. Looks a little weird. sure you get uh, just enough Of course, the nice thing about these DW spurs is that they have a, they do come with the spikes, so if you really need to take down, it's not a problem. Okay, so I'm going to flip the drum, and that kind of, that's looking like a bass drum, it's a little high on the front, but uh, that's okay, you can adjust it. Now what I would do is we take the uh, bass drum lift and this slides that's how that works and the drum is pretty secure it's not gonna not move your bass drum pedal, in this case, Okay. Could probably use a little more dampening. But you're going for that sound. Now, let's see what it sounds like when I. sound like that, more of an open 
coming soon. Uh, I'm, liking, I'm liking the sound of this drum. So, who would need something like this? That's that's the question. If you're a metal drummer, you probably probably shut this thing off uh, minutes ago. But uh, if you're like a uh, if you're a working drummer, maybe you're doing a jazz brunch. Or you're doing that in the afternoon, and maybe you got a gig later on in the evening, or you're playing a small pub, uh, or or you're recording and you're looking for more of a vintage vintage drum sound. You know, uh, this would be uh, this would be great for that. Or if you have two gigs. If you're lucky enough to get two gigs a day, you don't want to schlep two drum sets. You can bring this as your floor tom for one drum set, and uh, keep it as a bass drum for maybe a smaller, lighter gig, cocktail hour. I don't know, uh, or uh, some kind of a, a jazz gig, uh, jazz brunch in the afternoon. Uh, you may want to just bring this instead of just schlepping. Uh, also, if you're playing in Manhattan a lot, uh, if you're playing smaller rooms, or if you play outside, or on the su in the subway, uh, and you take mass transit, you want to be able to just bring uh, a floor tom like this in a small snare drum, hi-hat and a cymbal on a small stand, and you can get to the gig via the train or bus. Uh, if you would rather drive, of course, and, and park, then, you know, more power to you. God bless it. Uh, this is pretty much it. I just want to see how long it's going to take now to just uh, revert it back into a floor tom. So it shouldn't take very long. I'm just going to remove the bass drum pedal uh, and, the, uh, and the temporary uh, bass drum legs put the floor tom legs on. Let's see what let's see how long that takes to do. Just to see. Just to see how long it takes. So the bass drum pedal is off. The left on the side. And I set the drum. I'm gonna take off the take off the drum spray. Off really quick. That's cool. And the nice thing about this setup is this you put the legs inside the drum. I would wrap them up in something like a towel, put them inside the drum. This, just drop it in. Might make your life easier to do that. Taking the, uh, taking off the second temporary drum space. Okay, so that's off. So time okay, now it's a floor tom once again. Let's see what it looks like. I know a lot of people. Okay. So that's what it would look like if you reverted it. If you needed to 
use it as a foil, huh? Not too bad. It's a little ugly. But you can't have both for the same price. So that's it.